welcome to the studio. So today I'm going to do an open cup pour using a cookie cutter that is in the shape of a flower. So I don't know what that's going to do to the dimensions as it pours out. Could end up being a big circle after all. I don't know, but I would like to try it. So let's do this together. All right, so this video should be relatively short. This is a recycled canvas. I started by putting a little bit of a base layer on on it right now. And so I'm going to use this cookie cutter in the center, pouring out a folk art pearl, a deco art peacock pearl, folk art plum in metallic, and a sax red, but it's kind of a pinkish red. Um, I love these sax metallics paints. They're hard to find, but I love them. And I'm going to put a background of white. So I'm um, going to go ahead and get just go and get started. Mm -hmm. Let me get some gloves. All right, so I'm actually going to start with a puddle. And because there'll be a lot of paint in here, I'm not going to paint the corners yet. Let's just see how much paint we have to flow. A little bit more of that. There we go. <laughs> If I can get a little bit to flow. Nice. Now the other thing that I like to do sometimes is I will mix a thinner mixture. So sometimes I'll take my background, put just a little bit of water with it. So this is just the same background color craft paint and now you see I'm adding some water to it mixing it up and that should help it flow now I am going to have to get rid of those bubbles because the bubbles are going to be there because I just mixed it and poured it Now that white will flow off the side. There we go. All right, let me move these back out of my way. And let's go ahead and see what this lifts like. I kind of want to move it this way a little bit. Yeah. 
And so, as I predicted, not a single bit of structure. <laughs> That's all right. Well, let's try it. Let's see what it tilts like. Getting it loosened up a little bit. Got some bubbles popping up. It's actually kind of fun looking. Let's give it an anchor up here and move it down now. Well, I don't know what that blob is in the middle, but let's look at look at it here. We want to do this corner one more time. It looks like it's not quite over the side. It doesn't want to be over the side for some reason. I love these colors. It's kind of interesting how they're kind of melting into the white. Look at this. That's very interesting. Oh, let me let me finish the weight is right there so I want to come over this side I like this. I actually am going to blow that out just a little bit. I'm trying to get just like a smoky look. Oh, that's fabulous. That is just fabulous. Does not look at all like a flower cookie cutter does it funny all right well let me bring you in closer so you can see what the results are of this beautiful painting and so here we are this is the final i'm going to actually leave this corner i don't know what it's doing but it's kind of cool that corner is doing something cool also but see how I made that kind of smoky by blowing on it? Not at all looking like a cookie cutter, but it is wonderful. Just the same. Thank you for enjoying this process with me. I hope you get a chance to try something fun like this at home, in your own home or studio. <laughs>